St. Paul's is a special place. It's a special place because the kids love to be here. Hey, Xander. I love that I can drop off all three of my kids, boys and girls, at the same time at the same school. My pirate, that's what you gave me. I love it. I always wear that. Take care. The halls of St. Paul's are filled with thinkers, with explorers. It is an amazing place to learn and to be. It's a place where children are challenged, but a place where children are also embraced. Kindergarten at St. Paul's is a great place to grow. I can change the k in cat and make it maybe hat. or maybe rat. They learn to read, they learn to write, they learn to be a good friend, they learn to do math, they learn good manners. Through chapel and other programs, they develop strong character and do all the things they need for a successful life. Oh, what fun, good job. Who'd like to be first? The wonderful thing about teaching at St. Paul's is that we have small groups. We're able to individualize our instruction. Alex, could you come make a compound word for us? Thank you. This activity reinforces the compound words that we've been studying. I like using the smart board because they're able to manipulate the syllable. We use a multi-sensory approach so that we can reach the visual learners, the auditory learners, and the kinesthetic learners. I wrote it in my notebook. Fantastic. 675 millimeters was the other class's tallest structure. Welcome to the science lab. 65. They've got you by 675. We are making structures out of spaghetti sticks and marshmallows. And we're trying to figure out who can make the tallest one and who can make the one that has the strongest structure. So you might not have reached the tallest yet, but you have the most stable. Well, you did until you hit that cross beam. Our program is based in folk songs, but we do expand out into world music, popular, classical, all those types of music. The children have a singing-based program, but we do incorporate instruments. Here in the lower school, the unique way is no textbook, but we use kinesthetic way. We have PE frequently to get their energy out and so that they can learn lifelong skills. Technology is effective with young children for two reasons, achievable challenge and motivation, and the iPads do both. There are 50 countries in Africa, Morocco, Sudan, South Sudan, and Madagascar. They're exciting for kids to explore, and they present materials that are just difficult enough and graduate them to more difficult concepts. That's the concept of achievable challenge, and that's when kids learn best. Today in math what we're doing is we're breaking up into small groups to really refine some of the skills that we've been practicing all year and making sure that our third graders are 100% ready for fourth grade. So over here what we have is Money War where they use various amounts to determine who has the highest sum. Multiplication baseball helps the students practice their multiplication facts while also playing a game of baseball. And here on the board, the smart board, we are playing Fact Dash, which allows the students a really fun, time sensitive environment to really practice and pump out those facts they've been working so hard with. We're an art studio, we're not an art classroom. And in an art studio, you learn about color theory, you learn about the artist, you learn about why you're making the artwork. It's not about cutting and pasting, it's about what's going on behind it. This is getting a little more hardcore. I want you to rock it like this, and I want you to take it even further. Got it? 
Here we take risks. It's not about perfection. Perfection is boring. It's a waste of our time. We have to be able to try new things and to get excited about trying new things and go for it. Mistakes are good. The students come at the end of the school day and participate in different activities. Computers, art within the art studio, games, study hall sessions where the teachers actually assist them with homework questions. They have the resource of the library. There's so many wonderful things that the students do here. At the end of the day, the children leave this building knowing that they have been challenged, that they have learned something new, that they've had an experience that has helped them grow in the direction that we want them to grow, which is to become a better individual, to become a better student, and to become a better citizen of this community.